In this video, you will see Kelly and Maria working on the following problem. A spherical balloon is being filled with helium at a constant rate of 90 cubic inches per second. How fast is the radius of the balloon changing when its volume is 246 cubic inches? As they work, consider the obstacles they encounter and think about how you might solve the problem. So volume is 246 inches cubed. And we know the formula for the volume of the sphere is volume equals 4 thirds pi r squared. 4 thirds pi r squared. Okay. So, I mean, a spherical balloon is being filled with helium at a constant rate of 90 cubic inches per second. So what is that rate describing? V prime. V prime equals 90 inches cubed per second. And we know that V prime, we can take the derivative of V. So V prime is also equal to um, two times, this or, was a cubed. Oh. oh, it's cubed. Yeah, so volume equals four thirds pi r cubed. That makes sense. Um, well, I mean, we can, if we know that the volume is 246, we can solve for r, but what do we but want in the end? I don't know why we want to solve for r. We want to know how fast the radius of the balloon is changing. So we want r prime? Yes. Okay. So maybe if we find v prime, you think that would help? Maybe. Okay, so then v prime would be 4, four thirds. Well, wouldn't the 3 just cancel? Oh, yeah. So it would be 4 pi r squared. That's it? Mm-hmm. So 4 pi r squared equals 90. Oh, and we could solve for that. I mean, but again, is that, like, what are we going to find if we solve? We're going to solve for uh, r, and then that's kind of that's true. not really helping us. Right. So we, we might know what r is, but we want r prime, and I'm not right. sure how to get there. So um, when we have, wait, what is b prime? What do you mean? Like, Well, you want, we want an r prime, which is how dr d t? Is it? Is it? Well, yeah, that's what we want. But right now what we're doing, okay, so if we want a dt in there, right now what we're actually doing when we find the derivative of a volume mm -hmm. is dv dr. Right. So we know dv dr is for pi r squared, but do we want dv dt then, if we're trying to find dr dt? Yeah, I think it's just that we want dr dt, and we have dv dr. I don't really know how to get to switch in between them. Oh, okay, so you're just, you want to use dv dr to get, to get dr dt. I think so. Um, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> In this video, Kelly and Maria wanted to find formulas for the rate of change of the radius and the rate of change of the volume, but couldn't figure out how to relate these to each other. We'll explore how to find formulas to relate rates of change in upcoming videos.